video we're going to look at my new updated PowerShell password reminder script. So if we dive straight in to the changes, uh, I've got two PowerShell windows open here. One on the left is with the new script and one on the right is with the existing script. So I'm just going to kick this one off. So I'm just speeding up the running of that script for the purposes of the video. I did add some code into the script so we can see how fast the script runs uh, and you can see there it's just taken over a minute. So if we switch over to the new script, the first thing you'll see is we've switched to using parameters rather than statically assigned variables inside the script. Um, we've done that for a number of reasons which will become clear a bit later on. You can see straight away there's a lot more information being sent out to the console and the script completes a lot faster. So looking at the top here we've got a bit of a summary of what settings we're entering into the script. Uh, we've got the SMTP server address, the expiring days value, the address that the emails are going to go from, whether we're using logging, where the log path is going to be, whether we're using testing and who the test recipient is going to be. Moving down we've got a summary of the users that we've found which is good to make sure you've actually found the right users in Active Directory. Then we've got a default domain password age of 30 days. Then we move on to say that we're processing the users, how many users we've processed and how many users we're going to notify. We're going to create a log file, a summary of where the log file is going to be and then below that we have uh, all 10 users that were notified and their various details. The last big change to talk about is in regards to logging. Now with the switch to using parameters um, I added one called status. Now what this is going to do is tell you uh, that it's sending an email to George here and that this is the address it's going to send it to. Now I've simulated some problems connecting to our SMTP server. You can see here that using status we're showing the error here. Now on the old script you would only see the problem with that if you were running the script interactively. If we switch to the logs we can see all we get in the old style log is whether the user was notified or not and that's for all 20 users that the script finds. Now with the new version we only log the users that we were supposed to notify and we keep uh, the information about that SMTP session so we, we know that those users weren't notified. So that's about it for the changes I've made in how the script works. Uh, the customizations you want to make can still be done. Uh, it still accepts any HTML as you can see here. Um, hopefully the script will run a little bit faster and uh, if you do have problems it will be easier to find out where they are. I'd just like to say thanks to anybody who downloaded the original version. It's been downloaded over 45,000 times uh, and there's been over 230 questions and answers hopefully on the, the TechNet forum. So thanks very much. <laughs>